Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm showing you these multicolored 3D prints that I made using the Bamboo Lab A1. They look great, and I have a few words about using this printer for multicolor jobs. So, let's start with the process. Multicolor printing on the Bamboo Lab A1 requires some preparation before you even hit print. First, you need to paint your model in the slicer software, assigning different parts of the model to different filaments. Once that's done, the printer can switch between the filaments during printing. But every time there's a color change, the printer goes through a purge cycle to clean the nozzle. This ensures that there's no mixing of the outgoing color with the incoming one, but it comes at the cost of wasting filament. Here's how the filament change process works. Every time the printer switches colors, it has to cut the filament, load the new one, and then purge out the old color. This extends the total print time significantly. The more color switches you have, the longer the print takes because of the constant stopping and starting. Plus, the purged filament is essentially wasted, so multicolor prints use more material overall. There's also the optional purge or prime tower, which Bamboo Lab recommends to help clean any residue left on the nozzle and stabilize the chamber pressure inside. This helps prevent defects in the printed object. But as you can imagine, building this prime tower uses even more filament. This extra waste has always made multicolor printing feel like a no-go for me, until now. So, when you plan a multicolor print, keep in mind both the extra time and the extra cost of filament. In the end, I'm really pleased with how these multicolored prints came out. The Bamboo Lab A1 does a great job of multicolor prints and the results are vibrant and detailed. However, multicolor prints do take longer, use more material, and require more setup in the slicer. If you're prepared for that, the results are definitely worth it. One last thing to mention is this bin of purged material here. This is all the filament that was purged during the prints. Whether you're doing multicolor prints or not, you'll still need this bin, as the printer purges material during normal use too. Thanks for watching. And if you've had any experience with multicolor printing, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.